Roman Chrome HTA full case. Random team number 14. Dice. Read seven times. Paying the pass line. Should be 28 teams here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Paying the pass line. Seven times in the dice. I'm going to do this museum, and then um, if I, if Definitive's not full, I'm going to go to the 10 case here. Okay, awesome. I was just about to say, I don't know how long you'll actually have me, because I'm kind of actually exhausted. Yeah, that's fine. I wasn't expecting to. I Earlier, I asked I asked Jags, I was like, is she coming? <laughs> uh, seven times in the dice, but I, it's fine. I could, I, I'm good either way. I'm, not, I'm easy. No, yeah, I just wait. we were just waiting to come, because I figured. You have a nice Thanksgiving? Yeah, we went out to Benihana's. Oh, that's right, Jack said you, you. That's great. I love it. Yeah, and then um, me and Dylan watched Equalizer 3. I've never seen that. Is that the one with Statham? No. Mm. Uh, it's the, uh, what's his name? Oh, my goodness. Who's in the Equalizer? Oh, no, uh, Washington. Maybe. Denzel Washington. Denzel. That's his name. I was like, what is his first name? D. Washington. Darnell. De yeah, Denzel. It was good, I thought. But I've, weirdly enough, I haven't seen the first two. So I don't know if I quite fully understood the movie, but it, I, I mean, don't think I've it, seen the first two. It, it was a lot of just you know, killing. It was pretty skilled. Too. You know what the I was watching was, the other like, day? Things I was like, wow, okay, you'd scare me if I was. I was watching late at night. I was watching a uh, John Wick. Y'all seen all the John Wicks? No, I know the story though. I don't know. If you yeah, like, I've, it's so good. Because I think Dylan has seen them. I love the John Wick movies. Senior likes the uh, John Wick movies. Love too. them. White so I think it's White Sox and Nash where is it? White Sox and Nationals on the on the duel. Which got on your stand? Yeah, White Sox and Nationals. What don't you oh uh we have some good stuff. And Blue Jays and Ranges. Um we have two true orange autos of a couple of the rookies, Logan O'Hoppy and Gabe Moreno. We got Maida on the Atomic Inc. Got some good stuff. Alright, HTA full case random team number fourteen. That's crazy though, because it's cold over there. Like, it's what probably is not working. With the oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it might not be working. It's just broken. HTA. How are you not sweating in here? You got so comfy. I'm chilling like a villain. Hot. Chilling like a villain. Hot. HTA, a full case event. Good luck, everybody. This is like heavily discounted. I put the next one in the store. It's Get a. Everybody. It's supposed to be more. We only have two left. It didn't even wasn't even labeled Black Friday special, which makes me think that Backer only wanted one of these in the store with the Black Friday special price, but I already said this. He didn't tell me not to put it in, so I did. So there's only two more. There's one in the store and then one past that, and then there's no more HGA in the house. We did that the other day with Blessbusters. I love doing that. I love when he doesn't tell us not to do something, yeah, so we, we just, just do like, it. Yeah, like when Backer like, says, yeah, because he yeah, exactly. Then he gets upset. It's okay though. He's like, oh, well, you didn't tell me not to do it. Exactly. It's like I got here today and there was a like a hundred and eighty something spot, a hundred dollars a spot, player random player, player, and like nobody even told me that it was. I was like, what? Like, okay, like, how am I supposed to know? They were like, hey, Brown, is the player break going? I'm like, what? What player? What break? player break? Exactly. So I rescheduled it for tomorrow. That happens a lot around here. Is that Madhouse Coffee Place? Pretty darn good. It is. It's really good. I like it. It was funny because I remember looking at the sticker last time I was sitting in here, and then my dad randomly chose it. He's like, I want to try this today. I'm like, oh, you do. Cool. And then when we get it, I was like, wait, I recognize this from somewhere. And I was like, I think Brown needs that all the time. I or do. drinks it all the time. Dutch Brothers is my go-to, but only oh, if I have time to stop there. I love Dutch Brothers, too. Dutch Brothers is probably my favorite, too. I love Dutch Brothers. They, um, they close today at noon for Thanksgiving, so... It was, yeah, it was Madhouse or Bust today. Do you know the corn dog shindig with my dad? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. He demonstrated about. a corn dog trick to the room. Really? Yes. Really? I swear. Was it he'll a good trick? You, he'll tell you no, but was it a good trick? Everyone in the room said yeah. No, so I, so I guess a lot of people in the chat didn't know what a corn dog was. Because, you I know, we have dogs. a lot of people from, like, Asia and stuff like that. And so they call them, like, something different over Corn there. dogs are so good at, like, know. fairs and stuff. I agree. So they, corn dog and then some funnel they cake. They didn't know, so he's like, yeah, it's just, it's a corn dog, you know? You, you take some ketchup, you put it on the tip. Underrated. And then he starts eating it. Mustard, I like mustard. And everyone's just like, 
All right, Jax, keep going. <laughs> and so today, Got him. I ask him, I'm like, do you want food? And McEwen DMs me on the side and goes, get him a corn dog. Oh my god, like, that's wrong. McEwen just wants to see him eat it. No, he does. That's wrong. Um, <laughs> yes. I'm hoping there is some colored salsa in here. I said we need to make some spicy salsa. Let's see a red salsa. I haven't hit a red salsa yet, Brink. I've hit so many oranges. Let's see some red. Um, what time is the three the three case high end mix scheduled for, Super Fam? I didn't look. What time is that shit scheduled for? Let's take a look. Let's take a little peek see in the store. I thought it was at like four or five. It's scheduled for five. Is right. That's good. That's fine. Definitive Gilded Museum. That's not that's not like a crazy long break anyway. That's perfect. Break 24. I miss all the people in here. A lot. Especially Jimmy. Jimmy's one of my favorites. That wasn't your first salsa though, was it, Brink? The base auto last night? That wasn't your first salsa, was it? Do you have no numbered salsa? We could find you some cilantro salsa that's green. Or the, the spicy chili salsa that's red. Orange salsa is what, like mango? It's like the mango habanero salsa. The orange. I don't even know what you're talking about, to be honest. Ethan Salas. Okay. Ethan Salas. Okay. I, when I hit him, I said we're hitting, we're making salsa. Gotcha. But I, but it's it's good because like there's all the different colors. Red is the spicy chili salsa. Orange is the habanero mango. Makes sense. Right, and yes. then green is cilantro. Yeah, that makes that actually. Yeah, right? now that I know what you're talking about, that makes more sense. Makes more sense. What is the yellow? Yellow salsa. Maybe that's, um, I don't know, like jackfruit? Sure. Jackfruit salsa? All right, here we go. Or you can go with like a not spicy and call it like bell pepper salsa. Or something. Yes, museum's breaking tonight. It's probably breaking next, Bob. It's probably breaking next. Good luck, here we go. HGA time, full case, random team number 14. Going to start with Javier Valdez for the Braves. Braves were hot in the last case. They're going to start off hot here, too, for Chuck. Torres, Louis Torres. Prime Chuck, Braves? Prime Chuck, yeah. yeah. Always has the Braves. Louis, we have some random team, too. It's crazy, right? Really? I know. Wow, yeah. isn't that, that's cool. Louis Torres on the base auto for the Angels, and then we have a Yankee, but it's a pitcher. Louis Serna, base. No, Refractor, I'm lying. Refractor, I'm autograph. randoms work in favor of him. It's wild. Their PC teams and stuff what is that, teams. Samuel? Chili Guero? What is that? That's yellow salsa? Obviously, it's a flavor that you like. What is yellow? What is Chili Guero? What does Guero mean? Que dice Guero in Inglés? Do you speak Spanish? No. Me either. <laughs> yellow chili? I didn't even know that exists. The only language I can potentially interpret is Latin. Quit us knowing to him. No, I, I said remotely. I actually speak Latin. Do you? Yeah, quit us. Cool. Yeah, it's the only language I do speak besides English. It's a, I'm it's a joke. I'm better at reading it and understanding it than listening. May MS, Andrew. Christopher Torin, base autograph for Henny and Penny and the D backs. Javier Rivas on the, uh, the green, excuse me, green lava to 99. And then purple of Will Warren, another Yankee pitcher. Yeah, I chose Latin because I was going to go into the medical field, and then look how that worked out. Here I am. I chose <laughs> Latin. Opening sports guy, I, cho I chose Latin because my parents told me it would expand my vocabulary, and I think it worked. It did. It, it honestly yeah. does. I kind of feel like that, too. Like, I, I use some big words here and there that people are like, wait, what is that? It's not even that. It's like you see, like, Volvo, like a car company, and you're like, oh, well, I know where that word came from, you know? Well, and everything stems from Latin for the most part. Like, the romance. Spanish stems from The romance Latin languages, too, yeah. So. The romance languages all stem from, from Latin. It did help. I took Spanish for a few years too, but I didn't try very hard. I don't really think I learned very much. <laughs> Who does? Who? I, I, I'd like to meet one person that took a language in high school and can still Some speak people it do. Me. I'm not good at it. I have yet to meet one. Clark Elliott, Base Inc. for Oakland. Serta, another base auto for the Diamondbacks. He'll join Torin. And then we have Speckle of Everett Cooper. Hang him with Mr. Like Cooper. You ever, you, don't, you, you ever see Hang with Mr. Cooper? No. It's a great old time, old school. Sitcom. Hang in with Mr. Cooper. Everett Cooper the third. Those Arizona autos look the exact same. For the Nationals, they do. But I love the, the way part. I love the way Christopher Torrin signs the card with that little star. Oh wow! With yeah. the t on the T. And it actually looks like he took his time. It's snazzy. He's clean. Yeah. yeah. He actually can write cursive, 
Whereas, like, there's some people that draw it all out. No, well, they don't even teach cursive anymore, so. I mean, they're, but, like, you know, and this is not, I'm not knocking the player, but, like, the, some of these guys, they're very young, and they came from a place where education is not that, that is great. True, yeah. It's like Derniche Valdez, he came from a rough, uh, right. you know, and he's very young. It's like he spells his name out all in, like, you, yeah. you know, but, like, it's probably taken him forever to sign these cards. I feel bad for him. No, exactly. I wish somebody would teach him how to write cursive. Exactly. You know? Meanwhile, he's a good player, and I'm excited to see him play. The baseball. The baseball. Is baseball your favorite sport? Technically, it's like a tie between hockey and baseball. I love hockey, too. Juan Benjamin basing for the Guardians. Like watching, too? Like I would ra I like watching hockey live, and I like watching baseball on TV. Yolanda Rivero base, uh, base autograph and a refractor of Louis Reyes with the mean mug Where for the White Sox. <laughs> he always signs in the what? bottom left. He's a weirdo. What are you doing? I mean, what's weirder, the fact that he gives you a mean mug on his picture? It literally looks like there's not you. Uh, or the fact that he signs in the bottom left. I want to see left. his like high school yearbook picture. I see his picture in the Dominican Republic. I'd love to see this guy is so young. Holy Jesus, he's 18 years I old. I didn't realize that Wemby was 19. He, this dude just turned 18 a month ago. That's um, That's he insane. turned 18 a month ago. He is a kid. Um, but I want to see, his, so he's turned 18, he probably just took his high school yearbook photo. <laughs> True. I want to see the picture. I wonder if he gave a mean mug in high school, too. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Hang it with Mr. Cooper. Donde esta la biblioteca? Is that from, what is it, Donde esta la baña? What is that from, Encino Man? Brendan Fraser? Pauly Shore? Donde esta la baña? <laughs> so lost. It's an old school movie. Makes sense. There's a pretty girl in that movie. I like that movie. Atomic. I am not old. I think her name was Rebecca in the movie. I can't I remember though. Feel old, though. Ronald Hernandez. I feel like that should be your PC, Mr. Salami. RH. Christian Serta base auto for the Diamondbacks. And Diego Mascara. He's not wearing any mascara, but this is an atomic piece. Nice. 10 to 100. I love the new card smell. Diego Mascara. Atomic for Tracy. The Mets never miss, but they don't have anybody amazing. Like, Jacob Reamer is the best we can do. But they do never miss. It was Rebecca, right? Out of, out of Encino Man? Oh, Becca. Not Rebecca. It was Becca. You're right. You do, RH. Ha, 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 ha. The Weasel? Uh, I think it was. That might have been... Bi was that Biodome? Or was that Encino Man? Cool, thank you. Spence Kaufman going to Brink and the Padres for a look, or, or for uh, Brandon the, wait, what? Brandon the Picker, you have the Padres in this? Oh my God. Oh, it's a random team, Brandon, oh my God. Brandon with the Padres. Spence Kaufman, what a sweat for Brandon. Hayden Dunhurst, base auto for the Royals, and a purple, Jesus, Bastidas, all right. Not a pitcher, it's a Yankee, not a pitcher. It's not Maida, it's not Kiner. We're like um, dancing around the good names for the Yankees here. <laughs> Wheezy. It, it does all run together, it's true. Biodome and Encino Man. You could basically end Encino Man and start Biodome, and it's like the same movie, same character. You could even put uh, Son in Law right in the middle there. <laughs> Polly Shore is underrated, man. I used to tease that guy, even though I enjoyed his movies when I was younger. Now it's like, I actually respect him. He did some unique stuff, he created his own character, you know? I give him credit. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? If social media were around back in the day when Pauly Shore was being Pauly Shore, he would be like a god, right? Am I, tell me I'm wrong. Pauly Shore would be like some super famous legend if, if social media existed when he was younger. He really would be, my opinion. Blue in the back, Andy Perez on top of the Rockies. There's Hans. All right, we, we're, we're, we still haven't hit Kiner. Or, uh, or uh, uh, what's his name, Maida, but we'll take Hans. I like his auto, and that's a base auto. I wonder if Hans is better than Kiner at this point. And then Sinoja. We hit one of these in the last case. We like that. Sinoja on the Blue Ray Wave for the fish. To the onion. I like Sinoja. I like Blue Ray Wave. I like fishies. That's a great way of describing it, Ryan. How genius are you? He's so right. Pauly Shore is like Pee Wee Herman for teens. You're so right. You're so right. What a great description of Pauly Shore. 
that I've never seen before. That is a great way of describing Pauly. Right? So I'm saying he really would be God status if social media was the thing when he was younger. He's like the perfect guy. For, it's like, look at all these goofballs on social media. Well, Chris Farley for sure. Like, look at all these goofballs on social media becoming famous with zero talent. It's like Pauly Shore had more talent than that. Junior Marin! Base auto for Janik. We'll take that. Nice hit, Janik. Ruben, happy white the hippo, base auto for the Diamondbacks, and green in the back. It's Roy Salinas. A lot of pitchers in this case. It's not a good thing. We got four boxes to redeem ourselves here, but too many pitchers. No, that's you're so right, Ryan. It's crazy. It's like I love speed. Or Pauly Shore. It's like, come on. Like, Pauly Shore has got 3,000 times the intellect that I Love Speed does. Also, Belushi. If he, uh, if he had made it a little longer. Eddie Beltre, base auto for the Padres. Osorio, base auto for the Tigers. And a refractor in the back. Of Juan Benjamin for the guards. To Mojo Jojo. <laughs> what a, what a, yeah. What a, what a quote, you guys. You're, you're literally, you're quoting Polly Shore. It's crazy. <laughs> if you're edged because I'm wheezing, all you find is just shit. Ew. <laughs> it's all about the way that he says it. It's all about the delivery. The girl from Son-in-Law was, was pretty spicy, too. Who's spicier, the girl from Son-in-Law or Encino Man? I'm going to take Becca from Encino Man. But ooh, we got Mojo in the middle. That's a good thing. Carlos de la Cruz for the Phillies. Going to Mr. Barber. B Mojo in the middle of Hans. Not Gruber, but Montero for the Breezy Beagle and the Yankees. A whole bunch of hits. Look at that. Four Yankees for you. And then we got Speckle in the back. More happy like the hippo. Dupe, dupe city. Dupe city. Hello, 2023 Bowman Chrome HGA. My name is Dupe City. Do you come here often? You do? Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> hey, buddy. Buddy. Um, other stuff on the screen is museum... Six box PYT number 10 and definitive PYT one box number 59. And then we have a 10 case break of flashbacks on the screen. And then I'm going to replace this break on the screen with I'm not sure what. But I'm not sure I'll have time to do anything else. After definitive and museum, it's probably going to be 10 cases of flashbacks. So. Museum or definitive. Happy Thanksgiving, Nope Jose. Much love. All right, we got green in the middle. And Uribe on top for the Brew Crew. Green Lava of Luis Torres will take that for Chuck and the Angels. And Refractor of Andy Perez with ink on the left-hander for the Rockies. I forgot about the food group scene, Josh. That's so sick. ha, ha, ha. Much love and happy Thanksgiving to everybody here in the room, everybody in your room at home. Hope everybody had some delicious, delicious, scrum diddly umptious food today. Last box mojo, good luck. Spent some nice time with their loved ones and family. H.G. Wells, a.k.a. Henry Cavilli for the Twinkies going to Swift to base auto. I think he's the chase for the Twins. Louis Torres, again, I think that's like your third Louis Torres, but that's good. I think he's like one of the best you can do for the Angels for Chuck. And then Javier Valdez, at least it was no pitchers there in that last box for the Braves. Chuck with another hit. You actually had a nice break, Chuck. You got some Angels. You got some Braves. It, there is no Red Sox card in the back, Dave. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. 
It's Logan O'Hoppy, Gabe Moreno, both true orange autos, and Maida, your rivals for the Yankees on the Atomic Autograph. All right, let's do a uh, recap. Let's go, Ryan. All right, base autos on the left, numbered on the on the right. Here's the Rizzy recap. HG, Louis Torres, Junior Marin, Hans Montero, Dunhurst, Hernandez, Elliott, Valdez, and there's Torres again. Valdez and Torres again. Hans Montero again. More Ruben, more Benjamin. Dupe, Dupe City, Sonoja, Blue Ray Wave. Hanging with Mr. Cooper on the speckle. And a couple of Yankee pitchers. Not our finest, spiciest case, but nonetheless a case. That was, let me fill out the post it. I already filled it out, but I guess not. 2023 Bowman Chrome HTA. Full case, random team. Number 14. Thank you guys for joining. That was the break.